Hi everybody, this is Oksana and today we're going to be making this really fun little pendant. I think it's really beautiful. The gallery wire or bezel wire is what we're adding to it that's going around it. And I really love the look of it. They come in all different little designs, these types of gallery wires. So it's really fun to use. I'm just going to show you in this video how it gets added so that you can make a wire wrapped pendant with this extra little touch. And I also just quickly wanted to say before I get started that if you enjoy wire wrapping tutorials, I create a new tutorial every single weekend. So I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like down below. So let's get started making this pendant. So we're gonna need some 21 gauge square copper wire. You can use 20 as well. This is from RioGrande.com. And the reason I'm using 21 is because my stone is so small, but feel free to use 20, especially if your stone is larger than mine. So three pieces and they measure 10 inches long. So my stone is a tiny little oval prenite and it measures a little more than half an inch. So I would say about 16 millimeters. But again, your stone doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And I think it would be easier to use a round or oval stone, especially if you're doing this for the first time because it gets really tricky with other shapes. So now for the start of this tutorial, you're gonna need some gallery wire. So if you just look online, there's lots of different websites that sell gallery wire. You can find it on Etsy as well. And this is just plain copper gallery wire. It looks like this. And um, it's also called bezel wire. And so instead of doing the normal thing that people do with it, which is solder it, we are going to be attaching it with wire. So what you want to do, you normally would get a nice long piece of this when you order. I can measure this for you, but I don't think that's going to make any sort of difference because you just want it to fit around your stone. So mine's about two inches, so I guess two inches is the perimeter of my stone, but you just want to take the end of your wire, you know, if you have a nice long piece of it and just fit it around your stone like this, and then once you get to the top, just kind of bend it so it fits nicely around your entire stone, like this. I do have a tiny little overlap, so I'll cut that off later. It's kind of as close as I could get it. So we're just gonna leave it like this. This is the length that you need is whatever fits around your stone. So now, I'm going to take just one of my wires here and I'm going to attach. It kind of helps to open it up a little bit. You don't have to completely straighten it out, but if you just open it up a little bit and you put it in the center of your wire, the bottom of this little oval shape that we've made and now you bend your wire like this kind of in a U shape that's just going to help you um, figure out where to attach this because we want to attach this so that the middle of this wire and the bottom middle of this bezel are both here so what we have to do now is attach so I'm going to grab it here where my bezel wire starts and I'm going to put my bezel wire down for a minute here and what I want to do is just connect my half round wire. This is 24 gauge dead soft copper half round wire. So I'm just going to start wrapping it around a few times. and I'm using just this little wire end. The rest of the wire is connected to the spool. I 
All right, so once you have a few wraps like this and you've made that connection and the wire isn't going to unravel, you can just trim it and press down on that little wire end so it doesn't stick up. Now we're gonna go back to our bezel wire here. And what you wanna do is you don't want to start connecting your bezel wire right here at the very top because that very top is gonna bend around the top of your stone. But this wire is going to go up. It's not going to bend around the top of your stone. It's going to go up the side of your stone. So I'm going to wrap just a little bit more by twisting this piece here, this wire, and by guiding my half round wire All right, so what you want to do is you can kind of take a look if you take your stone, right? So if this is the top of my stone, the top middle, and then I'm just kind of turning the stone, the edge of my stone starts about here. So about three of these little, let's call them crowns, <laughs> three of these crowns. And then that's when I want to start connecting it. So to connect, I'm just taking this wire and I have to turn everything because it's connected to my spool. So I have to take the bezel and the other wire together and then just kind of turn it. At first it's hard because nothing is connected yet. So I'm turning it and I'm guiding this wire and pulling at it and I'm putting it right after that third little crown like this. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep twisting our piece around. You can also use round wire because the thing about um, half round wire is it gets really twisted. So you kind of have to turn the piece and guide the wire. But if you're using just normal round wire, just like 28 gauge round wire, then you're not gonna run into this problem you can just wrap it around without having to worry about turning your whole piece here. So that would be another alternative, but I am just doing that. Putting my wire, ooh, just making sure it's going around this 20 gauge, 21 gauge square wire only. Just guiding it and wrapping it. You can see I've made three little wraps now, which is not long enough to reach the next um, that next little gap that's in between the crowns. So I'm just gonna keep going with it. One thing you can do though, after you make each one of these little wraps that connects the bezel, is you can just press down on it gently, like that, just to make sure it stays um, straight and aligned there. So, your bezel wire might look different than mine. They have all different types. You don't have to use this exact one. Oops, my wire's getting twisted. So you have to make the choice of the best places to connect your wire. So I made the choice to do it in between these little crowns, but also you have to decide whether you wanna do it in between every single one of the crowns or maybe go down and do it like every two or three because you don't have to do every single one. I think I'm gonna do maybe every two. I just think like it's gonna get to be too much if I try to do it after every single little crown shape because it just needs a few connections. It doesn't need that many and we're going to keep doing this until we get to the middle bottom of our piece here and then we have to do something else all right so i got to the second one here so i think i will make that attachment now just pulling that tight 
right, so here's my little attachment, as you can see. And now I'm just going to keep wrapping around. Ooh, got a little tangle there. Keep going around that only that bottom 21 gauge wire. And I'm going to press down on that little connection that I made. All right, so here's what it's looking like. And you can see it's getting attached there. So this part is really repetitive and probably boring, so I think I'll just skip through it. But let's just do that a few more times. Let's see. Let's see where the bottom is. All right, so the bottom is right here. Let me just double check if that's the center bottom. Yes, I think it's right here. So if I make an attachment, one, two, right here, and then the next one will be right where I want it. All right, so I'm gonna make just one more attachment and then we're gonna start approaching the area where we need to start attaching our other wires. So I'm just gonna make this next attachment real quick off camera. So I did my third one, so they go every two. So my next one is going to be here after these two, but before I get there, since this is my center right here, what I need to start doing, I'm just going to straighten this out a little bit so I can work with it easier, is I need to start attaching my other wires. So I'm going to take my other wires, I'm going to line up the ends like this, and then I'm just going to follow it along. Just follow it along right next to the other wire. You can kind of curve them a little bit if you if you want. So they all lay down next to each other like this. And then once you get here, this is right after we made that other connection and just one little wrap there. We are going to go around all three, but not the bezel, all three of these 21 gauge square wires. All right, so it might be a little tricky to hold, but after you've made just like a wrap or two, they end up staying together so it becomes easier. So what you can do is just press down on that little wrap after you've made it. And now we're just gonna do that a few more times until we get to that middle of the bezel. All right, so let's just press down on that and check how we're doing. So that is not quite to the middle yet. So I'm trying to get to here. So I'm going to need a few more wraps. So just do a few more wraps and check again. Oh, and now we're there. So. What I'm going to do is this time, so I'm going to curve this so it kind of curves with the bezel. And this time around, I'm going to go all the way around, pull on that there, and go around the bezel and those three wires. So here it is. So this is our middle. And now, after I've made that connection, I'm going to continue wrapping around these three wires only. Okay, so to make it symmetrical with this side, I'm going to wrap around the three wires only. Oh, my wire's a little bit twisted there. Until I get to the next point where I need to make a connection. And that 
next point is going to be right here after two more of those little crowns. So let me just press down on that a little bit. Alright, I think I'm getting close, so let's check. Yep, that looks right. Press down on this one more time. So now I'm going to wrap around that whole thing. And what I'm going to do now is you want to take the two bottommost wires and just separate them out to make it easy for yourself to get in here and wrap around the top wire only. So just like we did when we started here, see this is going around only this top one of the 21 gauge wires, so we want to continue with that. That's why I separated these two by kind of bending them downwards. because I don't want them to get in my way. So I'm just turning the piece and guiding the wire around. You can see the little wraps forming there. So I'm just trying to get to the next point where I need to make those connections. Connect the bezel wire to the wire that I'm wrapping around. Let's see, nope, that's not quite enough. One more. All right, yeah, we got there. So let's wrap around the bezel wire. So like this and then just around the 21 gauge wire now. Alright, so I think now we made it to our next point of connection here. So I think this is our last one. Yep, because then I have three little crowns left, just like on the other side. So now I can just wrap around my 21 gauge wire only for a little bit, like I did here on this end, and then we're just going to trim and cut our half round wire. All right, so that's good enough. Just gonna trim, and then I'm going to pinch down that little wire in there. So now we can put these wires back, unbend them, and just line them up. And this is what we have. We have connected all three wires, and we have connected the bezel. So now if we take our stone, and we start bending this. Position our stone so it's kind of centered here where the bottom middle was. And bend it around. So this is a little bit taller, but that's okay because remember my 
bezel didn't perfectly go um, around my stone. I had a little overlap, so I'll just trim that off later. So what we want to do now is the three wires on each side. We just want to bring them together at the top here and I'm just bending back and forth to form little bends like this so they just come together nicely. The rest of this is going to look very familiar because it's going to be similar to making a normal pendant with um, square wire. Ooh, my wire started overlapping here. They got a little twisted so I'm just going to fix that real quick. So what we want to do now is just ignore the top of the bezel wire there. We're going to just connect these as we normally would with a square wire frame. So I'm just going to wrap around a few times to connect all of those wires and I'm just going to slide that down, take this little half round wire, work it through the middle just kind of pull on it and trim it off like that. And now I'm going to take the first two wires, I'm going to bring them forward and I'm going to wrap around them to form my bale. So I'm going to do this for a little bit until the bale is about three quarters of an inch. So once it's tall enough, we're just going to trim our wire so our wire end is here, so not on the front. And then we're going to pinch that down and just press over this whole little area, this whole wrap. And now these wires, we're going to separate them into two and two on each side like this. So here's the front of my pendant and I'm just going to take my bale, I'm going to curve it into that bale shape. I'm going to put my wire ends through the middle here and then you can either guide it with your fingers or you can use your pliers if you need to. Like this until we have a nice bale and then these two wires, so I'm just going to take the leftmost one, I'm going to wrap it around that left edge and then I'm going to trim it and take that little end and just tuck it in here and press it down. So I've made the connection and I've hidden away the wire end and then with this other wire you can either do the same thing on that side or you can just give it a little pull to make sure it's nice and tight and then just trim it really short. Since our bale's already connected via this side here, we don't really have to connect it here if you don't want to. So here's what we have. Now before we finish off the top and those wires, this is a good time to put in our stone. So I'm just taking my stone and popping it back in. If your frame has changed at all, like got misshapen while you're making the bale, sometimes it can get looser or wider. You would just kind of pinch it to be back to its original size. So now on the back, we're going to lock it from the back first. We're going to take the backmost wire and we're going to put a bend in it like this. Now it's okay, your stone's still going to want to move around and pop out the front. So we're just going to lock the other side of the back. My stone is a little bit see-through here, so I'm just trying to make gentle little bends and not put them too much on my stone so they're not super visible from the front. So now I'm going to take my bezel wire here on the top and I'm just going to push it down. And I'm also going to trim that little end of it because remember mine kind of overlaps a little bit. So this is the point at which we want to stop it now from overlapping. So if I push that down, it looks like that. And what you want to do now, I find the easiest thing is to use something like your pliers. They do sell special tools to push down bezels with, but you probably don't have one on hand. 
So I'm just taking my pliers and I'm just gently going around the edge and I'm pushing down the little points of the bezel just a little bit at a time and then I'm going to come back around and push them down some more. I find that it's easier to get a nice kind of symmetrical look if you just do a little bit and then you come back and push them down some more. So here's what that's looking like and then you want to just shake your stone in there see if it pops out the front. You can see there's still some gaps left there so now I can push down a little bit more. You can look at if you look at your stone from the side you can kind of see those little points of the bezel and um, what kind of gap there is. And you can just push on them to fill in that gap and to push the little points right up against your stone. Alright, so after you've gone through a second time and really pushed them down, your stone should be very secure and it shouldn't push out the front. And then here's what that looks like. Your bezel is kind of connected here at the top. Obviously it's not soldered. It's just kind of lying here next to the other part of the bezel. So my goal here is just to kind of hide that portion a little bit when I make my decorations with these wires. So now you have the freedom to do whatever you want with these wires. If you want to make any kinds of swirls or anything like that. So since they're square wires they can be twisted if you wanted to do that. That's always a fun look. So I'm going to twist one of these wires and then I'm going to swoop it across from right to left and I'm going to form this little loop and then I'm going to bring it to the back like this and my other wire is just going to follow that along just like that and then we can trim and tuck away those little wire ends there all right so that's one side done now with these two wires I want to try and just kind of hide this little area I'm going to twist on um, this wire. So I'm just going to bend it to follow along with the other wires. Same with this here. But now, because I want to hide that little area where our bezel comes together, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little swirl or a little loop. So I'm going to do one wire at a time. Like that. Then this can be tucked to the back and then this next wire, the twisted wire. I'm going to follow that along but I'm keeping a little bit of the gap there because I like the way it looks when the little swirl in the middle is slightly smaller. Oh, just trying to make some room for this wire here. All right. So I want them both to just come right underneath my other wires. And now I'm just going to trim. And there's all kinds of designs that you can do. I'm just tucking these away. You can add beads. You can do different things with this top bail portion. This is just one little quick and easy option to kind of cover that up. 
let me just adjust the swirl a little bit here. I'm going to push it down so it lays more flat against the stone. I'm going to just adjust my little bale here so it looks centered. And as just kind of my last step, I'm going to check on my stone here. It's a little bit loose. It's a little bit of space here where it kind of moves back and forth a little bit. So I'm going to just press down on my bezel one more time. And as I'm pressing down, because what I noticed is this stone, um, kind of when I press it down, it seems fine, but then it still has a little bit of move. So I'm going to actually press down on my stone and then see when I press down on my stone, that's when the little gap forms. So I'm pressing down on my stone and then that forms a little gap because my stone's a little bit loose and then I can press down on that bezel some more. This is only an issue if your stone is a little bit loose. This is kind of how you can troubleshoot it. That way you can get that bezel even more against the stone. All right, so now it's feeling more secure and it's definitely trapped in there. And that's it. Now we're done and we've created this beautiful little prenite pendant with this little bezel edge around it. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.